Good afternoon from a bit twisted. I am going to take my first bit of flax from our experimental crop and run them through a little crusher here. And we're going to see what we get. So I have some flax here. One batch is a little bit shorter than the other, but I don't care. Um, I do not have my hackle here with me, but I just want to see how well it runs through this and, and, and to hand break it, just to kind of see what happens. I have my hackle over at the studio, so I'm kind of out of luck. I didn't think about bringing it home today, which I should have done. So, I'm going to split these apart so I can run them through the machine. The machine has a hole on this one side here to feed it into, and it's just a hand crank. And it will just pull it in. And my goal is to just crush it really thin. And this crushing will help break the fibers just by squishing it. it doesn't break it in the traditional sense of the, the standard break that you use. Um, maybe I need to use a little less in this thing. crush it through but yeah let's see so this is our second time through okay so that's pretty flat so then the rest of it's just going to be broken by hand I'm just going to Squish it between my hands and break the break the fibers. See what we get. So this is normally a job I'll sit down at. Uh, you get my chair and sit down. So I'll get this and just kind of kind of work it. So the root end right here is always the coarsest part. It also has the most bits in it. Standard brake will bust quite a bit of that out. Um, you can see everything just kind of falling away. Um, which is pretty nice. Okay, so now it's just this nice, instead of just a stiff, instead of just a stiff stem, I now have some nice fiber. And it actually feels pretty soft too. These fibers are pretty fine. So I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be a good deal. Let me go get my scutching stick and we'll, uh, Knock some more of this this uh, shive and boon away. I'd like to comb it out too, but I'll have to wait till we get to the studio, and then I'll go ahead and do that over at the studio, and I'll video that. See what we get. All right, hang on a sec. Okay, so we got a little 
Got a fiber here. Got me a painting stir stick. It's got four sharp edges on it, and those edges can be the knife edge. And I just snap and drag. Just hold it, snap and drag. Softens it up. As you can see, knocking some more Shive and Boone. I'm not scraping it against a piece of wood. I believe if it's redded well it's just all going to come out in the wash anyway so when I comb this more of this that's deeper in will come out and here is some grass bits grass stems and they're just like Boone and they'll just They'll just come out, fall away, since I had quite a bit of grass. And we'll just do it this way. And I've done it this way quite a bit and come out with some really nice fiber. And, uh, and this fiber is, at this point, probably going to be close to that English stuff that I got from Berta's flax still maybe not quite but combing will definitely help and get the the short junky stuff out so it is working and we are getting some usable fiber so So I'm going to crank this a little bit tighter, get a little bit more squeeze to this. The more squeeze, the flatter it, the stems will be, and good flat stems are going to break apart really easily by hand. And uh, I think a regular break would be great. Run it through here and then, then a break, uh, make the breaking make the break work a whole lot easier if we could pre pre break it by squishing it and uh, that's basically what I've done and then there's a piece of grass that got squished and it's squished pretty thin and uh, and then then you just run it back and forth like this and all the junk just falls out as you can see and that's what we want that's breaking there's a lot of different ways to break you don't have to there's not one one set way um, commercial brakes are whoop, are just like these gears except they have deeper grooves in them and actually act more like a, a handbrake and uh, and I would agree that that's something needed, but you can kind of tell this is the thicker end of the plant, and then the thinner end of the plant. And so when I hang my fiber to spin, I hang it from the root end, and then pull from the tip. And I try and make my fiber as close as and even as possible at the root when I when I get ready to do this part this part of the job for breaking. Um, so until I get it on the uh, hackle. Um, we're not going to know 100%, but I'm going to I'm going to run this stuff through, so we'll have a good sample to run in the hackle. But like you can see, they're they're not that long, you know, 
foot and a half at the at the most and it's going to get even shorter so this is almost like long toe but it just kind of just kind of is what it is and then this is this is an important step here too because this knocks a lot of junk out that's still kind of hanging in there you might think it's stuck in there but it's not it's just we're just knocking knocking it out and also hitting these fibers so they break apart a little bit more so they're not like ribbons of fiber you want it you want strands of fiber not ribbons kind of a nice sword action a nice sharp edge um, when you're doing a whole big huge handful then uh, doing it with a heavier a heavier sword scutching sword and a and a board that you can scutch against uh, it's probably a good idea but again the hand processed ones may not be quite as good as the uh, machine ones and that's just out of experience here and I can, I can go from under, scutch from underneath and up and out, and that works just as well. And so you should Kind of like that. So another batch. So we're gonna now have a couple batches. Now I've got more I can scutch and and some of the short fibers come out this kind of blends things together so wouldn't uh, complain too much at this stage of the game uh, this will My woodworking skills are not the best. That's why I haven't made a, a wood a wood break at this point. So there's that. So we're gonna stop there for a minute. I'm gonna finish processing all this and then we'll go from there. Okay, we're back. So I made me a new a little sketching knife real quick. Kind of rounded the handles, very, very crude, but it feels comfortable in the hand. It's got some weight to it. Um, still kind of a blunt edge here, but should be good enough for what we're going to do here. I just wanted to get some weight. So you can see the, the fiber that we have. So get the tip end and we'll use my new scutching knife scratch out the fibers get the knock the junk out it's doing a pretty good job that's what I want so I'm going to take this other end do the same thing and again not against the board like you see on some of the videos 
I'm not sure it's necessary because this is kind of like a whipping action and it, it's pretty aggressive. And uh, getting some of this junk out of here. Go back to this other side here. Work it a little bit more. So this is my my fiber from this year. Planted it last November. It's late planting. Experimental and very dense. Stocks are very thin. And so you can see all that stuff in there that this hasn't gotten out yet. If this was machine done, those, those machine paddles would really just be super aggressive with all this. And also with a different type of brake, it would be a little different as well. But um, combing gets a lot of stuff out too. So we're going to set that one down there with that. A couple more bundles here. Again, we're going to do the root end first. I could even hack at it lengthwise to kind of get in, open it up a bit. There's a lot of things you can do. You just work it. Work it, work it. Work it, baby, work it. Work that fiber. that. Next step is uh, hackle. This time I'll take three. Got to take three bundles. I can use any of these edges that I want. Um, it's actually not a bad little scutch stick. Not bad for a couple minutes worth of work. Pretty aggressive. So what we now have is a good handful of fiber. Ready to be combed. Just like that.
hink it up if I want or or just leave it open and wispy so some of the shorter fibers little toe fibers already not an issue so there you go so you can see the root ends you can see all the stuff in the roots there that's fine much of this is going to come out um, this didn't break that well at the root but you lose a lot at the root end anyway just because it's so thick a lot of shorter fibers at the root end and then the tips you lose a little bit at the tips but these tips are pretty nice because they hardly had any branching at all so that's what we have we'll revisit here um, soon when I take it to the studio and heckle it <laughs>